What's up guys, we're back on Cold War Zombies. As some of you know, we don't have every single gun in the game Dark Aether yet, and normally we grind all of our weapons on Firebase E sitting in Colonel's office, but there's a new map out, so let's go ahead and hop into there and see if we can find a new camo grinding spot, and maybe this one could be better than Colonel's office. But today we're going to be getting the QBZ Dark Aether. I have, I've hardly used this gun at all. I only have seven kills in zombies with it, so basically starting from nothing, we're going to go all the way to Dark Aether, and I have a few ideas on what spot could work very well for grinding camos. And as the game's loading up, a quick little disclaimer here, I am going out of town for a few weeks coming up soon, but videos should still be coming out regularly. I just might not stream as often as I'd like to, but I still will try to stream while I'm out. I'm just putting out there, there still will be content. All right, I have to get power on and all that fun stuff, so I'm gonna cut around a little bit until we get to the point where we're looking for our new camo grinding spot. There we go, that's the first camo. We haven't even left the first room yet. Ooh, and another one. All right, now it's round five. We have 7,000 points. Let's go ahead and open this and zip line across to the hotel. Pop this open, head through here. Go ahead and take out the first Tempest. Ooh, and we'll get a camo for it. And another one. We're flying through the cameras at the start. Loose change. I think we missed a loose change up in the hotel, but we'll go back there. Grab this. Let's try to beat the train across. Oh, we did it. More loose change. Let's do the fake power turn on. Oh no, why isn't it working? Here's a fuse. Let's get our change at mule kick. Pop this bad boy open. Come here, Tempest. Oh, knife him. Let's go. Easy fuse. Put this bad boy in and crank it on. There we go. Oh, get out of here. But we finally do have power on. Let's go ahead and start scoping out for spots. I already have a good idea of where I want to go. Let's go ahead and get Pack-A-Punch started. So we can go ahead and take out this Disciple. Ooh, they're angry. Very angry. Hold on. We do already have a ring of fire, so... Why not use it? Ooh, they got crushed immediately. Give me those camos. Oh, I'll take this intel, too. And let's just open this up that way. We don't have to later. But the first spot I'm thinking about sitting at is right up here by the Wonder Fist. Let's grab our loose change, but... I've been sitting in this zipline spot for a while. I've actually gotten to a pretty high round sitting in this spot. It was with the Wonder Weapon, but I think sitting here until you have enough money to buy all your perks and then go get Pack-A-Punch is a pretty good area to start at. You don't have to go too far. Once you have the money, you can just walk right over here. Go ahead and grab a perk. And it's just smooth sailing. Oh, there's a camo. But what I like about this spot a lot is nothing's going to be coming up from behind you. Zombies are only going to be crawling up from this area here, hopping over this counter and that counter. So it's a very safe spot. If you do end up getting overwhelmed, you can pop your ring of fire. But if you don't have one, you can just take the zip line down, grab some ammo there. And there's also an armor stand right over here. Everything being said, I don't believe this is the best spot for grinding camos. It's very good. It's very safe, at least for the earlier rounds. But now that I have enough for Pack-A-Punch, we're going to go down here. Pick up Pack-A-Punch 1. Also, love the new Pack-A-Punch camos, by the way. Wait for the spotlight to go by the armor stand, and we'll upgrade our weapon to green. Can we go any further? Oh, we can get blue. Nice. We don't have enough quite yet to get our ammo upgrade, so we can go ahead and start Klaus. But this is the spot I wanted to show you guys. I feel like this is very, very good. You can stand right here. And they'll all start coming down in a straight line at you. You have plenty of time to take them out. It, it just makes crits super easy. And we know that crits are probably the hardest challenge to get for zombies. And I wouldn't even say it's hard. It's just more time consuming. There's another camo. So far, so good. Just zombies coming at me. Nothing's coming from behind me, but there are double points. And I will take those. There's our panzer. Let's light them up from here. Ooh. We didn't even need a ring of fire for that. We just kind of busted his skull open. I'll take that battery. Now, if you are just planning on grinding camos, uh, you don't need to get Klaus. I just want to get him for the fun of it and so I can practice getting him and upgrading him. But if you want to get him, just head down the rope here and he's sitting right here in the chair. We'll put the hands in, put the battery in, and he is up and running. Hi, Klaus. Look at him. Locked and loaded, ready to go. Oh, we got 10k. Let's go ahead and grab a few more perks here. So I'm going to go with Jug and Stamina Up. I think that's a good starting perk slot. And I'm going to go ahead and go back to sitting right here under the zip line until I got enough to get the rest of my perks. Goodbye, Klaus. All right, next, I think we're going to grab Speed Cola. And then after that, Deadshot. And we'll be good to go on our perks. And there's some more camos. This is not a bad spot for crits right here, actually. Just got to get their little head as they're climbing up. All right, grabbing Deadshot. 
and now we are good on our perks. So I'll stay right down here until we got enough to pack a punch again. There we go. A little bit of a bigger wave of zombies and this cryo really helps. This is might be a longer straightaway than on uh, Firebase C. And another camo. Oh, Disciple. We're just racking up camos here. The zombie hasn't even gotten past this box yet, I don't think. And another one. Ooh, a dog round. Klaus, get over here. I want to see if Klaus can actually take one of these guys out. Looks like he's just outlining them. Oh, wait, he hit that one. Hit that one. Look, free round for me. I don't got to do anything. It seems like the zombies spawn pretty far away in this spot. It's taking them a bit to get over here. All right, later, Klaus. All right, round 17. We got 16K. I'm going to go ahead and pack a punch again. Now we're on pack a punch two. This camo is also very, very nice. Ooh, more camos. Oh, a disciple spawn right here. First time I've seen that so far. I mean, still went out super easy. It's round 21 and just... I have gotten no pressure on here. Just been sitting back and racking up my crits. I'm at 632 eliminations and 601 crits. Very, very good pacing. Now at the end of the round, we have 33,000 points. So I'm going to go ahead and get Pack-A-Punch 3. And it looks very nice. Oh, a Panzer spawned behind me. Still got demolished. Oh, another one behind me. This might be the only issue with this spot. But also... It lets off that huge noise, letting you know they're coming, and then you can just pop your ring of fire and take out everything. Another panzer is running right for us and gets instantly taken out. So, so far, the only snag I've run into with this strat is a panzer spawning behind me, and we've had two of them, and they instantly went down. So, as long as you're just keeping up with pack-a-punching your weapon, and you, you when you hear the panzer spawn noise, you're ready for it, it should be all fine sitting right here well let's go ahead and give the other spot a try here now at round 23 let's see if we can keep up our crit rate while still surviving up here you're gonna have to move your aim around a lot more than the other spot but in this spot for sure nothing is gonna come up and spawn behind you but if you got dead shot especially if you're playing controller crits shouldn't be a problem but so far so good the spawns seem a lot faster here too it's a little more exciting up here actually this spot might be a little better until like you start getting overrun so I'm going to go ahead and amend what I've said and say, sit up here until you can't. So maybe until sit here till like round 30. If you still need camos to work on, then go on the alleyway right underneath it, right over here. And we still didn't get anything near close to us. Now, I think once we hit round 25 here, manglers will start spawning and they do spawn up here. And if a panzer comes in, it might be a little tougher, but things like ring of fire should help out a lot. I'm gonna go across the zip line and go ahead and upgrade my gun. We already have it pack punch tier three, but we are only on a blue tier. Let's go ahead, grab pink. I am in the turrets, fire. Oh my God. And the game just had to go ahead and prove me wrong. But I know manglers start to spawn at round 25, but we just happen to get a dog round on 25 or at least a torment around as they're called on this map. Now I will say the worst part about sitting here and down at the alleyway, is that you're going to have your back to the zip line and you're going to constantly have this little zip line thing on your screen. There probably is a setting in your interface settings to turn that off, but I'm too lazy to go in there and find it. But you did see two manglers spawned right there and they instantly went out. I'm going to hold off on using my ring of fire just yet. It is getting a little hectic in here, but we're, we're holding off and we're already on round 27. And now we are getting panzers. Let's see how we can fight off panzers up at this top area. Oh, later. Klaus like, you want me to go there? All right, I'm leaving. But Panzers came up here. Went ahead and popped the ring of fire. Took him out. Easy. Oh, another Panzer. Gone. Yeah, things start to get really hectic here the closer you get to 30. Ooh, another Panzer. I went up to get a max ammo as he came in. I'm going to go ahead and hit him with a molly. But I think I might have been able to just take him down straight gun. No, I, I couldn't. I actually couldn't. Let me go ahead and buy. Hook or buy back. I'm taking my zip line out of here. Let's go ahead and take out this Panzer. And let's finish off the round in our new spot. Oh yeah, they're much more spaced out over here. So just to summarize, top room by Wonderfizz, tell her out round 26. And then you can come down here after that and the rounds will be a lot faster here. We're getting a little overwhelmed, so let's go ahead and pop our ring of fire. And we're back to smooth sailing. Oh, Panzers are spawning again. Let's pop our ring of fire. Get them before we're going to even get back here. And another one spawned. Same thing. He's gone. Oh, the Panzer came right at us. He wants the smoke. Let's go ahead and take the zip line down. So if a Panzer does get up on you as close as that one just got to me, go ahead and take the zip line down. 
it's gonna get a little tight in here training around but you can literally just go right back up and you'll be fine the panzers can go up and down the zip line so be cautious the spot is really really nice for crits it's completely flat level ground they all have to pile down in a single file line coming down here except for the disciples they just like to fly over it you can kind of aim in one spot and get easy crits except for this mangler that wants to spawn right next to me i'm gonna start a trial maybe i'll just get a kill one get critical kills perfect i literally could not have timed that any better i just gotta wait for the zombie to start spawning any day now there we go i heard a panzer it didn't spawn behind me this time though there's got to be a way where you can stand in the specific spot for panzers to not spawn behind you light the panzer up there we go look at this already on a rare for crits and on an epic oh zombies are starting to spawn through that window but they could not hit me there hit a ring of fire I'm getting a little too close for comfort all right we're on 36 1700 eliminations 1500 crits still very good pace Oh my, look at all these crits. All right, Klaus, you can get this last zombie. This is all you. Get him. His accuracy is a little off, but he's got the right spirit. Come on, Klaus. Let's go. Oh, shit. I'm going down for sure. Oh, look. Klaus reviving me. Let's go. And let's get the hell out of here. All right, definitely a mistake going that way, but we got our boy Klaus to back us up. Let's grab our trial. Oh, wonder weapon. Let's go. All right, let's let's just sit in our spot until we got time to get perks. I need to go put a bit more pep in my step, if you know what I mean. Klaus has to go take a coke break. All right, let's take this time to buy our perks back. It made the dumb mistake of going into a small room at a high round, but we got everything we need back. I'm even gonna pack a bunch of the wonder weapon just because I have all these points. There we go. Take a quick peep at it beautiful this is probably my favorite wonder weapon ever oh no mangler spawning right on us down the zip line let's give it a second hey mangler is it still cooling down let me up let me up let me up let me up there we go jeez kind of close there oh so i'm seeing that if you go down the zip line and back up the zombies that were down there will spawn out this window <laughs> we gotta go down all right so in light of that news we'll go down the zip line and we'll try to go back around and up through the other side that way our zombies aren't popping up from that side we'll head down the railroad here past the armor station i guess we can refill it while we're at it and up the rope and all we gotta do is run right across oh we had a mangler waiting for us mangler's piss both of them are up a stun all right now we have a ring of fire Ooh, this has been a a very scuffed round oh we're barely surviving here all right round 41 almost 2,000 crits so we're only 500 away we're extremely close to dark aether oh going down so it's looking like once we reach near 40 we're gonna have to at least drop down once Ooh. let's go taking them out and we'll hit our ring of fire there we go now we're finally cooking on this round 43. Uh oh, until another panzer shows up. Oh wait, shoot his backpack, it stuns him. Taking him out, still in it, in an insta-kill. Oh, perfect RNG there. I didn't even have to go down. Oh wait, there's another one. Yeah, I'm going down. <laughs> we made it through round 43, but it's looking like our strat isn't. So we can kind of sit there for a little bit. I think as long as there's not a panzer, we should be fine. But if there is, we're we're in some we're in some trouble. There's the rotten camo. We're finished with just normal kills. All right, let's see if we can survive round 45 here. My Lanza, look at this. We're very close to getting our crits done. A little less than 200 kills. Our Panzers here, and with a Semtex, use them all on him. Oh, we're getting clouded by zombies. Go down. Literally 13 health, barely made it out. Oh my. Panzer rounds are definitely the more difficult ones, but if there is no panzers, you can survive there for a bit. Oh no. I made a great play there. I'm gonna have to use my self revive. No zombies around. There we go. Finally took the panzer out, but I know that's not the last one for this round. We gotta be ready. Oh, ring of fire. We still got taken down. I can't see anything. We got our crits done. Or our, our. Oh no. No, we don't have a self revive or Klaus. We're so close on our crits. No, somebody get over here, please. Oh, so I will say this strat does work very, very well 
but we are around round 46. It does get a little more difficult the higher rounds you go. Uh, and Panzers definitely complicate things, but this strat does work very well. I'm gonna have to hop into another game and get it done though which is very unfortunate all right we're taking our walk of shame back here on mauer de toten Ooh, 69 crits let's go there it is we needed 115 more kills but we finally got dark aether we we messed up a little bit at the end of our strat so but don't worry i think it still works maybe in high rounds it gets a little more difficult but if you already have some camos on it Maybe going to like round 30, then restarting might be better, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about the strat. I think it's probably one of the better ones so far that has been found on Mar de Toten. I, there might be a different area that is better for grinding camos, but go ahead and leave your spots down below if you have anything else. But this is where we're going to end the video. If you guys like this, you want to see more, leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't, dislike. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. We put all kinds of COD content throughout the week. And that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time later i almost forgot to show you guys what the qbz looks like with dark aether and honestly this might be one of the best coverage guns in the game in terms of camo coverage it looks really 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 nice honestly it's probably one of my favorite looking weapons with dark aether on it it's just so much room for this camo to be on it very beautiful all right now i'm actually leaving later